when I had this idea for this plugin, I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be hard. But like, honestly, this is so fucking easy. I don't want error spam. I hate error spam and I hate errors. It's working, holy crap. I mean, we could implement this, but uh, I really want to do something else now. <gasps> oh, yeah, right. Just stand still, come on, I'm pointing a gun at you. Yo, hi. Uh, okay, so what I am planning to do now is a like debug add-on, because I've got this file here, this auto load, um, called debug constants or development constants which controls like if the enemies navigate or if audio is playing and stuff like that. And I don't want to go into a file each time and change these debug things. I want to have a panel down here. By the way, this is just a small personal thing I'm working on. Just a uh, top-down shooter. Just wanted to make a top-down controller and I expanded on it. I could hijack this menu here and put some extra options into here, but I've uh, talked to a few people on the Godot Discord and they were like, huh, could be complicated. So yeah, let's make that add-on. Let's create a new plugin, I don't know, call this debug panel. Ah, uh, sure, let's create this. And now let's pull up the documentation, because I need to look this up every time. This one, a docked plugin. So let's make a new user interface scene. Ah, uh, perfect. We need a reference to the thing here. Oh, I need an add-on that lets you easily disable plugins in the editor. Is it this one? Oh yeah, this thing is like, holy shit, it's so f useful. Uh, so let's look at the docks again. Slot right, bottom right. Then what do we need to... Why do we need to pass an icon? Oh yeah, right, we need to pass in the node like this. And if I refresh... Okay, yeah. Slot right, bottom left. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, right, I'm I'm a big dum dum. On exit, I need to do panel.qf. And do I need to remove it? Oh yeah. To remove it from the editor. Let's know what. Um, project settings. Disable this. And reload the current project. And now let's try... Perfect, okay, yep, so this is working. And now we have like a panel we can drag around. Now we need to build the panel, right? Add a VBox container. We need an HBox container and a checkbox and a label debug option description. Checkbox has a text property. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, yeah, thank you. I was thinking if I for every constant just add a checkbox with the text, that should work probably. Wait, let's do the good old manager thing. Um, debug panel populator, because you know, this populates the uh, thing. Export var debug constant script. And then we drag in our dev constants. Just for fun, let's try printing this. So just that we see that it works. Which it doesn't, oh, right. This needs to be a tool script. Yep, okay, perfect, works. Let's just copy this over. So we need a, a reference to our panel vbox container. What the hell? Why am I doing get constant key? Constant key is the thing, right? But why am I getting this? What? Oh, oh, okay. That's actually like not that dumb. For every constant key, let's add a check box and then checkbox.text is equal to constant key. And then we add the checkbox as a child. Yep. Oh, that was easy. Um, when I had this idea for this plugin, I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be hard. But like, honestly, this is so easy. Oh yeah, right. I probably need a Glasscore container. Do I though? Or does Godot handle that automatically? Why aren't they showing up? What? Godot? Is it because I'm missing a score container? Add a score container. Oh, does this need to be set to cover the whole screen? Oh yeah, there. Perfect. How do I actually update the constant? Huh. Probably have to change this to a to variables then. Oh, f 
Okay, I didn't think about this. Uh, let's say a new note. Yeah, resources probably. What I was thinking about, you know, if I check if we are currently running the game and then update the variables in the auto load, that should work, right? So let's call this value setter dev constants dot get script. Why is this not working? Uh oh. <gasps> oh yeah, right. Because these are no longer constants. So this essentially won't return anything. Go get every variable from a script. Get script property list. Let's just print get script property list. They get a new dictionary per variable. Okay, this is interesting. For property in property list. How do I skip the first one? Let's just make an index. And we want to get name. Okay, let's try this. Save and reopen. Oh, I'm so amazingly stupid sometimes. Of course I have to add them as a child, although that does not fix our issue apparently. So there's something wrong with the um, index. Why am I struggling with this so much? Holy crap. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Darkness Sire. Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> It amazes me how, how how dumb I am from time to time. And now this should work just fine. And then we need to iterate over every child of the B box container. So we need a array of the check boxes in dev constants. We need to set the current checkbox dot name. So we need to set this to button rest and let's run the project okay no crashes i set enemies ineffective will they move holy shit it works oh that's uh -huh. let's set this to false let's see if it works please move come on could you please move crap why the f oh crap i know why Add-ons are not loaded in the game, right? Phew, how do I? If I do resources and then save the stupid thing somewhere and then load it in-game, that's probably gonna work, right? So, create a new folder. You know what? Even though they are not constants anymore, just call them constants, who cares? Oh gosh, now I have to go and save stuff. I have no idea how to save resources to this, by the way. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh oh, this is more complicated than I thought. So call this value saver. We need to have a path, probably just a string, right? Let's call this saved constants. Let's make this extend a resource. Let's export this variable and then call it constant map. But when do we save? We need a uh, a callback to save. And let's create a new signal and call this constants changed. And then we just do a hi there. Read out this. Why? Oh, we need to constants change that image, right? Yep, yeah, perfect. Works like a charm. And then we just need to save it. How do I do that? I have no idea. Godot resource. I heard that there's a resource saver class in Godot, but I've never used it. A singleton for saving resources to the file system. Funk create constant map. We need to create that first. This is our constant map resource. Not to be confused with our normal constant map how do i create a new key for this dictionary so as our key we want to use checkbox.text and as our value we want to use checkbox.pressed why is that giving me an error oh right because i'm an idiot again and then we return this constant map resource and then we save what we get from create constant map to the path of save path it's not saving why the heck is it not saving oh it returns a result and then we assert assert and failed print result i mean assert is not like return or something oh it is kinda i guess oh nice unrecognized error huh cool i'm kinda lost at the moment to be honest Oh, need a path to a file. 
if I create a new resource here and make it a, uh, a constant map resource and, and then plonk that into here, will that work? Error code zero. Okay, that's like probably, yeah, okay, perfect. Holy shit, thank you. <laughs> I would have sat here for, for a few hours more at least debugging this. <laughs> okay, so now I only need to load this. So now in our constants thing here, right? This can stay. I mean, this still prints. It does not need to get our code from here and replace that. Uh, property this constant key property maybe this will work now nope how do we iterate over every key of a dictionary so we get the keys and iterate over everyone so you want to set the key to key oh by the way we need to set the minimum height here play audio let's set this to false and we're not having audio here right yep perfect now let's try please come on please work Holy crap, it's working. Please move, come on, yep. And if I uncheck this, just stand still, come on, I'm pointing a gun at you. Yep, it's working, holy crap. Nice, like, okay, we're finished. Let's create a new problem, basically, with the uh, minimum height. Why? Well, I mean, why not? Let's plonk this into here. And, okay, text behavior, yep, like that. Okay, so let's go back into our populator and then do checkbox text over on behavior is equal to what was that again? Um, let me see. Ellipsis. Okay. Why have all the checkboxes disappeared? Uh oh, what have I done? Oh gosh, another thing to work out. Let's just put a simple comment here. Yeah, my debugger sends errors. These I can't get rid of. I'm doing a bunch of look at stuff for the gun, for example, and for the bullet hole decals. Like, they got the face, um, in the normal of the face, the uh, raycast hit. If anyone knows how to fix look at errors, please let me know. Oh yeah, right. I'm doing this dumb check each time I do a look at. But this is essentially the same thing that Godot checks before it performs the look at. And uh, if this condition here, this one, is true, it plunks an error into your output. So I am essentially doing a whole bunch of math wasting CPU cycles because I don't, I don't want error spam. I hate error spam and I hate errors, but I can't get r rid of them. I, uh, oh yeah, checkbox dot minimum custom minimum size at the property. Probably, right? Let's just go with 100 and 0. Reload. Oh, okay. 200. Alright, okay, yeah. It works. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And now we need to... Let's just make a function calculate panel minimum size. So let's first get all of the checkboxes. So we want to add the minimum size dot y plus equal to checkbox dot size dot y then at the end we return minimum size okay so apparently the minimum size does not work let's print this property okay so the minimum size is still zero y oh let's pull a debugging masterpiece and print this property okay yeah it's actually zero why the hell then you know what let's just call this in the ready function why not yep it works thank you dark messiah we remove every default value here, so I don't actually change it here. Because right now if I change this to true, it's not gonna update here. I mean, we could implement this, but uh, here, I there's it to do, clamp this. Let's just do this. And then let's clamp this spot between what value, uh, 0 and let's clamp this at 45. Let's see if we didn't break anything. We did, right? We broke something. Uh-oh. Why the hell? Oh, haha, -ha, I'm a big dum dum. We wanna clamp tween dot y. Cannot find property clamp on base float. Oh, right, right. Godot being Godot, of course you gotta do this and then pass in the value like the save and now. This still does not work, shit. Let's do 350 here, I mean. I can always change it. Then we need to re-enable clamping. Now everything should just work as it is supposed to. Yep. 
Why is this set to null? Uh, oh yeah, it's not type, so it's a null. I gotta disable and re-enable the plugin each time I add a new constant. But I guess that's doable, because checking if there's a new constant. I mean, I know how to do it, but I really don't wanna. Like, this thing is for my own use only. I can live with doing project settings, plugins, and then just like... Yep, there you go. So yeah, I think we're done. Thanks everyone for watching. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Thanks uh, Dark Messiah and Short Rest Vein. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I hope so. Uh, for all of your input and help. And yeah, see you soon.